Welcome, 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 welcome. Come on to my Aries. Come on to my Aries. Okay. For our love first pack on November. Okay. Um, right now I kind of feel like it's definitely time to take time for yourself. Okay. Um, so, <clears throat> what is it I wrote down? Okay. Um, just stuff brewing, stuff coming to a head, okay? Um, I know your north node enters cancer, which is your fourth house of home and family, foundation. I believe that comes on the sixth, which is tomorrow, okay? Um, let me mute this in a minute. Yeah, emotional well-being type thing, okay? Um, is important right now, all right? Um, Jupiter enters your sister sign of Sag, so that's exciting. Okay. Um, so higher learning, that type of thing. Um, it's going to be amazing, all right? Um, you're going to start to feel really abundant all the way around. Some people call it lucky, okay? Um, you're going to be swimming, 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 and going, and going, okay? Good for you. Keep going, okay. Um, it's also your twelfth house, so whatever needs it, which is closure. So whatever needs to be closed, close, okay. Have it come to an end. Definitely get some rest. Take time for you, okay. Um, caught that. So. I am going to do um, a rose petal spread. Okay. It is, here we go. I got to think again. I got to do it all over again in my head. I keep saying it. So it is going to be like the core issue, which is like the kind of like the current scenario. Um, your past feeling or your attitude that you had towards the past, um, what actions you were taking. I want to give you the current advice. Your present, how you're presently feeling. Um, and where you're headed, okay, and advice for, like, November, the first couple weeks, okay, sorry, my mind's like, oh, how many times are you going to repeat this, <laughs> so, um, this probably be my last one every night, you know, so, with that being said, let's find out what's going on with my Ramskis, my Ramskis, my Ramskis, okay, Towards me, pushing more towards me. Get that paper out of the way so you can see how many. So you can see how many. All right, my little rams. All right, your core issue. Your core issue, my little rams, please. Let's find out. the nine of pence okay so this speaks about you know confidence and independence and reaching goals and and not really needing anybody because you know you're content uh you're smart you're using your wisdom okay um the, so if this is being the core issue this is telling me right off the bat that either you have lack of confidence or you think you're too good for somebody else or a certain situation. So I'm going to have to find out what the surrounding cards are telling me, okay? Past feelings. The Eight of Cups, so you walked away from something. You walked away, I think, from your ego. Because there's no way you walk, unless you need to walk towards, nah, because it's the current, so you're not walking towards confidence because it would be the past. And I always say this is like Jesus, you thinking that you're better than somebody type thing. Okay. Um, 
but of course it's walking towards your happy. So I, I, I think I think you're walking towards your independence. You know, gaining confidence, feeling independent, feeling liberated. Okay. Um, past actions. So you just walked away from something. Is what you did. Okay. You have the page of cups. You walked away from love. You walked away from emo your emotions. Maybe because of lack of confidence. Um, you guys are throwing me for a loop right now. Let me tell you. The Page of Cups brings a new opportunity and a new love. It's genuine loving energy that experience but because of heartache it's hard for you to open up again okay so the koi fish swims peaceably with, within the water all right um regardless of that it doesn't matter all right because you walked away from love exactly what i said you walked away from your feelings because of past pain so the core issue right now is lack of confidence okay um letting pride letting ego get in the way you walked away from love you walked away from something pure. Tell me about um, advice, current advice, please. Current advice, whoa, whoa. It's the King of Cups. I mean, it's the it's the Knight of Wands. Okay, and it's. You know, taking action, being proactive, being determined. All right, it's the Knight of Cups. It's with the Ace of Cups. Holy shit. Wow, my little Vance piece. He walks away from love. I don't know what to say to you. <laughs> you walked away. You know, it's saying take action on this love. Go in and have this offer. Go take, go offer this love to somebody that you clearly, that you clearly feel for somebody. Holy cow. Okay. Um, we have a little bit of lack of confidence, okay? But that's okay because it's, it is time for you to take care of yourselves, rejuvenize yourselves, find yourselves again. But this, the beautiful energy that's coming is this this wave of energy for you to for you to get the fire under your feet again, okay? So how you're presently feeling? Holy cups, guys! The Queen of Swords, okay? So you want to cut it off presently? You know, because it's looking right at the page of cups. You you don't want to make this offer. Your best advice is to make this offer, but you don't want to. Or you're trying to think of a non-bullshit technique to go in to make this offer. So it told me to look at the bottom of the deck, the ten of cups. Man, that's coming up in everyone's effing needs. Tell me about the queen of swords. Um, okay. All right. That's, that's Queen of Swords. To me, currently, what you're doing, how you presently feel is you're taking practical action. Okay. Well, it's not really action, but you're being, you're, you're having practical thoughts when it comes to this offer, this message you want to give to somebody, whomever you walked away from in the past. Okay. Yeah, it's, 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 you're contemplating on how to take action with the Page of Wands is what, exactly what you're doing, okay? I don't know if you're trying to be sneaky or sly about it, but I wouldn't do that. 
I'd be real careful on how you pursue this. Okay, because um, you need to go in your best scenario. And when I clarified that, I gave you fire too. Is emotion, action, speaks louder than words, speak from the soul. You love this person. Okay, you got feelings for this person. You want to explore it. Okay, but you're, you're being too logical when the universe is telling you to follow your soul. Okay, so, you know, you're being practical, but you need to follow your soul. You, you need to take action. You need to be adventurous. Okay. Sorry. I just ate a piece of broccoli. Feel it in my feet. Sorry. Meet court. All right. Um, where this is heading? Let's find out where this is heading. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's see. I just wanted this deck. All right. It's the six of pentacles. It's even and out the scales. It's balancing out the scales. Obviously, one was given more than the other at one point. Okay. It looked like it was probably the other person since you walked away. But it, this is the major arcana. Found at the bottom of the deck. This is the major arcana for justice. So, you know, it's about to get justified. It's about to be balanced. Advice. Well, before that comes out, it could be either one. It is the ace of wands. Take, take action. I'm just going to clarify. But this is... Your advice it is to take action unless it wants to where it's heading is a new adventurous spot all right but let me just advice please for the future so for november the next two months okay um it's the nine of cups it's your dreams are right here they're just behind the curtain all you gotta do is open the curtain Go towards your dreams. Go towards your happy. Apparently this person makes you happy. Apparently this person is your soulmate with the six of cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Um, I'm going to pull you a moon pad. All of a sudden I have a toothache, which is really bizarre. It was not there before. So I don't know if you guys are dealing with a toothache right now. That Please, somebody, please say you have a toothache. I don't want any toothache. Or it feels like my wisdom tooth, though. It's like I don't even have my wisdom tooth there. So, um, ooh, maybe that's saying use your wisdom. <laughs> That'd be a weird way of um, me uh, giving you a message. But... Aries. <clears throat> All right. So you just need to build your confidence. You need to go towards this person. You need to offer this person your cup, okay? That is the best advice they're giving you. Deliver a message. Go balance out the scales. It is time to take action. You got very action-oriented cards, all right? Because how you're presently feeling is practical and they want you to follow your soul. What they want you to do is to stop thinking about it and take action. You've known this person for a while. Obviously, you've walked away from this person before. But your best advice was literally to take action, stay determined. Go deliver a message. Tell this person how you feel. Speak from your soul. Balance out the scales. Take action. You want your dreams? You want happiness? You want to celebrate? Go get it. Go get it. Okay. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Okay. And I think that's why I was saying you need to get your rest because it's been tough. Okay.
sorry, but I had to do a little fast. So an end of a type cycle approaches. How hard are you willing to work for what it is you want? Will you fight for it? This card is a reminder that the effort is required now. Work issues might be about to come to a head if this card comes up as well. If you're wondering if you should stay at a job or leave, this card is a strong indication to take an exit. The end of a tough time, especially with the forecast. This card also asks what you're considering and how ambitious you are when it comes to other aspects of your life, especially personal. Be prepared to pull out all the stops to make dreams come true without being ruthless. Once with a love question, this card can be faced with reality. Whatever situation you're asking about, making a plan will help. If it's your personal life and you're troubled, prioritize. Okay, it also says release control and trust the universe. A professional project may be ending now. Admit it if you if, admit admit if you have been overly hard headed or hard rose or hard nosed. Find a balance between your personal and your private life. It's time to stop fearing the worst. So with it being the, the nine of pens too, it's work oriented too. But it's, it's mostly love with your best advice to go after love. But um, with work, if it's not going good, leave it. All right? They're saying just leave it. Have faith that something will come your way. Or start looking for a new one. But what's on my board is, is stop fearing what this is. And go after it. You want it. Stop fearing the worst. Go after what it is your soul is calling to you. You have to have trust and faith in this situation. Clear as day. Okay. All right, my little Ramskis. Go after your passion. Go find your passion again. It is the perfect energy to find your passion. I love you guys.